Okay, so Russia round seven. Uh, yeah, that looks good to me. We'll just maximize our sporting. I'm not going to build all infantry from here on out. So I think we can get a bit aggressive here. Um, I want to try and obviously slow down Japan as much as possible. So we can go here. Uh, let's go here and here. Maybe slightly heavier here, actually. We can push forward a bit. Um, ooh, I'd like to kill these tanks if we can. Maybe maybe four on both the planes, try and kill the tanks. That should be good enough, hopefully. Uh, one, two. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I want Germany to keep spending its infantry. What have they got to actually... My IPC has got 31, so they can buy 10. We've got... We've, we're very soon going to have a lot of US troops on the mainland, so we've just got to keep Germany uh, low on numbers until they start arriving and we can really put the pressure on. Uh, I think that looks good. Okay, let's do that. So I'll make a little break for the uh, the old Soviet Far East if we can get that far. <laughs> Try and keep the Japanese a bit uh, distracted. If they want to go for India, which I really hope they do, then having to deal with this kind of stuff is going to be a bit of a, an irritant for them. Right, for long day, let's go. Okay. Xinjiang, not. Oh, that's terrible. Wow. That's. It's even risky pushing on here, to be honest. I'm going to do it, but. Okay, better. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, yeah, we will push on. <laughs> not the greatest. I was hoping it should actually take Xinjiang itself, but we made a slight profit there. Slight profit. Okay. Bulgaria. Oof, heavy hits. Wow. Damn, that was extremely heavy from uh, Russia. I'm kind of wondering if we just push all in here, to be honest. Do we push all in? I'm tempted just to stack everything, just to go for like five here. We've got five here already. Five here. <laughs> Do you know we've got five everywhere actually as it stands now? It's quite interesting. Oh screw it, let's just do it. I'm not sure if this is the right plan or not, but whatever. Then we have everything towards Russia. Uh Germany. Yeah, that's fine. What I'm hoping maybe he just he maybe ignores some of this, and he goes for just just purely France. Going for France is quite good because we potentially could wipe this. Yeah, it's too hard, too hard to say, but screw it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Have we looking back to twenty six, two ten one five seven. Good. Just thinking, as a German player, if I was looking at this board, I wouldn't be too too happy because there's a lot to trade here. I'd, I'd have to pick my battles. I think here, yeah. definitely, France is the priority. Okay, UK three against Arm one. So I've done a build off uh, off screen. I'm going to get up to four transports. I think because we've got the income pretty much for it. We've got a bit of extra income. And they didn't retake France as well. He's tried to strafe. Uh, we'll quickly look at Germany's go here. He tried to strafe pretty much everything. Well, actually, three, three things bordering him. Uh, France, Bulgaria, and Poland. I think he killed... I think it was one more than he lost on each attack. Yeah. <laughs> but I suppose, in a sense, he made a slight profit from the trading. But I kept the territory, so... Th that negated the the loss of the extra infantry, so actually it's it's, it's in our favour still, so it's not a problem. Um, yeah, we've got a bit more to spend this round. We had a 
forget how much I had, about 50 something. So I'm going to get a fighter, for up to two for the carrier. Um, I'm going to get extra, extra, extra transport, get up to four, because we uh, might as well, given the extra income, get more land units on the mainland. Um, I'm going to have to be slightly careful here. I'm going to pull the fighters back to India, because there is a bit of a threat on India here. Uh, it's got five transports in range with some tanks and a few things. It would have been more deadly if he'd had this, these three fighters in range, but yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so six, one, and two. Let's go with that. So finally, finally, get control of all of Africa, round seven. <laughs> Took us a while, but we got there. Um, I'm kind of contemplating going for India, India, um, Italy here. I feel like we probably, it's a little bit risky. Well, it's very risky. Maybe three versus three. Yeah. Let's just grab. Gonna grab uh, Southern Europe as well, because why not? Oh, I really want to go for that. Can we hit this with? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the landing zone is not <laughs> not ideal. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave that one. No targets for the bomber here, unfortunately. I'm keeping bombers here just in case we can get, you know, it, it forces him to protect his fleet a little bit better. And I think he's actually, I'm pretty sure he's built more, he may, must have built fleet. He, he's built a shitload. He built it just battleship. Hang on. Jesus. That's incredibly aggressive. Whoa! <laughs> I should have been watching these purchases actually, this is crazy. Every single round, he's built another ship. Apart from round two, and yeah, apart from round two. Wow, that's insane. That's why he's got a huge fleet as the Japanese, but the problem is there's, there's no there's no threats. <laughs> he's got bombardments to use, but I mean, yeah, we don't particularly have a huge air force, so that's very unnecessary spending from Japan. You want to be applying all that into just, you know, land expansion and getting troops pushing towards Russia. That's, uh, yeah, very unnecessary. What I'm kind of worried about, though, in a sense, is he may start to push. If he pushes, like, a big big fleet towards the Atlantic, that could cause me problems. <laughs> Cause it would, obviously, I'd have to spend turns building up a navy to, you know, to uh, protect my logistics. That would that would be a problem, but that's not happened yet, so we'll, we'll wait and see what that happens. Anyway, attacks. Um, Italy's the main question here. Again, I've got no landing zones really, apart from France. Oof. Let's have a crack at it. Let's have a crack at it. If you have a bad round one, I'm hoping we don't get three hits. That will be extremely unlucky and uh, unfortunate. But I doubt that will happen. I may pull the. Yeah, I think with the amount of fleets, I think, is he is he just protecting from the bombers? Is that all that is? I can't tell, really can't tell. But I think I'm going to pull one of these bombers back at least to try and bomb Germany a little bit, given the fact we are on top of them. In fact, I probably should have started bombing before now, because we have control, as it stands now anyway, of the land around Germany. I think bombing is going to be a better move, but anyway. Right, let's do that. See how our luck is. Three hits here will be amazing. Two's not bad. Okay. Well, I'll push on from there then. Ah, oh, bonus. There you go. That was fortunate. Um, so I will drop. I've got to put something into France. Which leaves actually we can put two. One more thing free? No. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh yeah, I will have to actually move the fleet north because we are dropping off Americans in there. We'll see. We've got to have. What have we got? Two. That's more than sufficient. We can leave the carrier in uh, this sea zone. Yeah, because the Americans will come up to defend. Uh, is this one sea zone eight? We'll have the uh, the British fleet defending the. US transports. He may. What I'm thinking here is he's got five transports in range of Africa, so he may do like a mass drop into Egypt, which would be kind of crappy. But we have transports nearby to reinforce. So if he goes to Africa, I'll probably just immediately ship in a, a lot into Africa just to push that back because we can't give control of Africa over to the Japanese. Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, let's pull this guy up as well. Maybe uh, Caucasus is just a slightly better landing zone. Let's do that instead. Can harass this transport slightly. There's only one. Isn't for all the power he's got. He's only got one destroyer, so. We can still move fairly freely in and out of the um, the sub. Yeah, cool. Okay. Fighter transport and uh, two tanks. What's the deployment here actually? That's wrong. I've got to put this in here first. That's better. We can pick up the anti-air gun as one of the transports as well. So, cool. Look good. Safe, safe. Yeah, the UK is going to have a big spend <laughs> next round as well. Got a lot of territory. Cool. Oof, nice. Sweet round 50 to spend. That's what we like. Yeah, so I think we should probably start... Uh, Yeah, I think we should try and incorporate. Well, in fact, what I should have done here, I should have probably left the, th the fourth transport for the UK and saved the IPC for uh, a bomber around, because that would probably have been better, actually. I think we don't necessarily need four transport. I was just thinking about getting ground troops on the mainland, but yeah, I think a bombing strategy would have been a bit better. But there we go. Anyway, that's UK3. Sorry, UK7. Okay. Uh, US7 against Iron 1. So I've done a bit of a build, uh, I'm going to go for 10 infantry, uh, 1 fighter, so I've got a bit of spare cash. Uh, I've not, to be honest, I've, I've not perfectly worked out the logistics here, so we've got a lot of <laughs> a lot of land units just floating around, so I, I'm, I'm sort of winging this one here, just going for it, but that's fine. I think 10 transports for now is okay, we'll add maybe one or two more depending on if we put a complex in Norway or not, or yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So Japan, they did go for a landing in Africa. Uh, with a decent amount of troops, and the problem they've got here is they've, they've sacrificed, look, they've got 13 units in Japan that are not being picked up at all, and four in the Philippines that, again, that they, they can't afford, but well, they can't ship out because they've got no uh, transports available, so definitely not an efficient Japan, uh, this game. So I think in, in response to that, I can probably get quite aggressive with Russia, I think we'll go north like we said and then try and push in Central Asia as well because they do have very little, we've got two groups of infantry here six, seven, <laughs> so I think we can probably afford to uh, to move out a bit. Anyway, there you go, that's the start uh, of the round um, not sure exactly where to put these guys because they're a bit of a target if I just go straight to Sudan, I might go to Belgian Congo first invite the tank to come around Make up north. I'm going to be landing a few things here though. I will be landing in both of these to try and uh, counter this and get control again. Um, it's tempting to hit the tank or get the tank to take out Burma, which would leave the British tank to blitz through to Malaysia. Sorry, Thailand. Um, gives the transports a few things, a few things to do. Hmm.
Why not? Let's do it. Apart from that, nothing else we can do. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all three transports here, move them down. Uh, yeah, let's go to Congo. Um, again, I, I do want to start some drops in uh, Finland, so I think we'll take. Okay, I've got three attackers, three defenders here. They can't reach 23. Give you that for now. In fact, that's even that's overkill. I'll tell you what we could do. We could just do um, just do a battleship 13. And then everything else can just move up. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, perfect. Um. Six and six moving forward, that's obviously more than they've got and more than they'll be able to ship in for quite a while. Uh, I'm going to bring this guy down actually. Then we'll remain, yeah, eight going to Finland, <clears throat> and that's good. So we have four transports up here. So we need, yeah, we don't. The four going up north can come back and pick these guys up. And we'll have more here as well. Okay. It'll work out, it'll be fun. Pretty sure we're safe here, there's no. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. <clears throat> 